So John, what should people who habitually drink and drive do to reduce their problem, in your opinion? Probably, I uh, guess, move closer to wherever they're drinking or drink inside. But you're probably saying that they, for some reason they have to drive, right? So if they have to drive and they can't because we're in a free society, there's alcohol, and then, so that all kinds of, yeah, problems. The individual has to solve themselves in the liberal society, I guess you call it. So um, I think that they uh, they should drive us like a small car, so they when they plow into the other individuals, there's less there's less casualties, I guess. Like a smart and drive when there's no one else about. You mean like a smart car? Smart, yeah. I guess that's why they call it a smart car. Because <laughs> yeah, smart yeah. drinking and driving people will. Drive the smart car. Yeah, they so won't get in trouble. You'd have the lesser of, yeah, three evils. It's, if you just hit one person rather than three or something. They're small, smaller. Thanks very much, Tom. Yeah, it's a smaller, small. it's like a ballistic object. You know, the smaller it is, the less impact it'll have, right? Yeah. Well, thanks for your input. Okay. <laughs>